guys. In this video, I thought I'd cover something that I made a change in Mach 3 uh, quite a while back, and I don't think I ever shared it, and it's something that I think uh, can get annoying and frustrating to some people. Have you ever noticed that when you reference Mach 3, uh, your Z-axis goes to your home switch and backs off, then your Y-axis goes to the home switch and backs off, and then the x-axis goes to the home switch and backs off. And then they just stay there and you have to jog them away. However, you can make this small little change to that button script and have it go back to the center position or thereabouts on your machine. So now you're ready to run. So let me just quickly show you how that is done. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Alright, so go up to Operator, Edit Button Script, and then click on your Reference All Home button, and then it'll bring up this script. Now, the default is X, Y, and Z, which is 24, 23, 22, and this is your A, B, and C axis. So, in order to just move it away from your home switches when you're done, you just need to add these few lines of script right here. So, we're going to do a while is moving. We're going to do a wind. This completes the while is moving, so it doesn't do anything while it's referencing these uh, axes. Uh, then we're going to do a code, code, quote. We're going to do a G53, which is in machine coordinates. Uh, we're going to do a rapid G0, Z minus 3.0. This is just happens to be how I have mine set up. Uh, so it drops down three inches from the home switch. Uh, then we're going to do a G53, machine coordinates again. Uh, G0X, 7.5. So this is 7.5 inches away from the home switch. And then last, we're going to move our Y, and this is 5 inches away from the home switch. So you can just simply add these few lines of code, and then when you get done referencing, it'll move it back towards the center of your work envelope. just makes it a lot easier, and so you don't have to uh, jog off your home switches every time you reference your machine. So after you get done, you just exit out, and it'll ask you if you want to save it. You just say yes. And then now when you go to click on this button, you'll get the same results as I have. guys well thanks for watching the video just a quick tip in Mach 3 man get rid of that annoying having to manually jog it off your home switches of course if you want to move each axis all at the same time you can simply just do one G53 G0 and then Z space X space Y and it will move all three at the same time or if you just want to move your Z Put that on one line and your X and your Y can be put on the same line. Thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and most importantly, be safe.